Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis, the Conquest of Paradise. I keep stumbling over my words there. Uh, with myself, Arumba, and Northern Lion. Hello, gents. Hello. Hello. Let's uh, let's get back into it. I right. agree. We should do what we've been doing, which for me has been waiting a long time to me. get my manpower reserves up. Oh, my manpower uh, reserves are super low. Dude, I really want to like, I want to do something, so I want to attack the Shawnee, but it'll incur minus two stability, and I need to save my admin points for these tech advantages. I know! Some guy was a little ambiguous in his communication earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Totally was me, it was me. <laughs> Must have been me. I'm not sure I, if I'm going to survive this westernization. Like, I'm falling apart already. <laughs> How could you not survive the westernization? I like, have no money. I have a regency council. My legitimacy is at 46. Okay. Um, and I've got revolt risk everywhere because England decided to make me Protestant. Well, could you have said no to that? Because I don't want you blaming England. That's kind of like I, where I, my uh, great ancestors came from. I could have, yes. But then you lose westernization yeah. progress. So it's like... You kind of have to. Plus, I, I wasn't really that against playing as uh, Protestant, although yeah, it's, it makes, makes it funny, I guess. Yeah, it's just we were just like, drop all of our native traditions, just like yeah, <laughs> Protestantism, yeah. King Henry sounds great. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Disband all of those mercenaries. For some reason, I was way over my force limit. Oh, like it not? says, I'm at. Uh, 43 out of 42, but I only see 23 units. 20, sorry, 25 units. I wonder if it's just because like half the regiments are like really bad. Like, we're not totally, allies anymore. We're not allies anymore. Yeah, I was just looking at it. That's unusual. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected that given, you know. The only thing that was still standing, all my diplomatic relations, I still have military access through Mahikan, which is you. Yeah. Well, we should ally again. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to improve relations. I don't know why it. Uh, Maybe because you westernized, we we treat you like a backstabber or something. I guess so. Seems like it. Where, the, where the heck have you ever had this happen? Army force limit forty out of forty two, but I only have twenty three regiments visible. Is it because they haven't reinforced? I think so. Is that so? The the force limit is not based on the number of men you have. It's based on the number of regiments you have. Yes. All right, so I should consolidate my old regiments into new regiments that are better. Yeah, that lowered it by uh, 16. Yeah. That's good to know. Thank you. To fully reinforce your armies, you need 1,000 men. That changed things a great deal. What is your problem, cat? <laughs> Which cat is that? He's, he's trying to jump everywhere. It's the new one. Oh, Tomo. It knocked over, yeah, Tomo. Knocked over a tin of muffins. I think he's just hype that we took on Portugal and sort of won. <laughs> Somehow. What a what a stupid war too, right? Like <laughs> we we threw so many men at it and it was just for honor, basically. Yeah. It was like can can we beat Portugal? That's not Answer. a stupid reason. That's a great reason. Oh, it was a stupid reason for me. How much did uh, you get when you sold the province back? Was it like free? <laughs> Twenty ducats. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well worth it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like 30,000 like little Native American souls for 20 ducats. Exactly. It's like an a thousandth of a ducat per man. <laughs> Good value. <laughs> oh, That's God. about how much mercenaries cost, right? So, uh, Sad day. Oh, well. It was fun nonetheless. What do you have going on, Mathis? I am just managing shit. Yeah, all right. That sounds exciting. Yeah, well, Chakata, my vassal, should be annexed very shortly. They're 80% done, so I'll have that nice Chakata piece of land that's kind of a sore thumb. Mm. Um, I am currently coring the Blackfoot area that I took over, and the Pawnee are my vassals. So I'm waiting for them to be, you know, 10 years my vassal so I can annex them. Yeah, you're doing some good expansion. Yeah, but I, my manpower is so stupidly low. <laughs> what is, like, 300? Like, uh, 1,700. Oh. That's all right. Where, um... And I forgot what I was going to say. All right, then. Nah, don't worry about it. Happens to the best of us. Oh, I need to I need to fortify Wichita, which is what my mission is right now. That's what I'm most looking for. Mm. Actually, that's a good point. I forgot my mission. What do I need to do? How do I fortify something? Just build them... You have to build an earth rampart, which might actually be impossible given your tech level. Mm -hmm. An earth rampart. I'm gonna build this. Press issue. 
What am I going to lose? Abenaki loses 30 or I lose stability. Abenaki, I you don't like I what? should be one tech what? level away. Mickback, you just insulted me? That was that or I lose the <laughs> stability, dude. I just I felt like you could deal with the, the anger. I'm no. Oh, no. Mathis no. is no longer in sync. Oh, See, it, no. It's, you, it's because you insulted me. The game hates uh, you now. It probably is. Uh, we'll be back in a minute, folks. Right. Well, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we reloaded the save after uh, Mathis went out of sync, and all of a sudden, we, uh, Arumba tells us that he'd loaded it like four or five times, and every time, the randomized new world was removed, basically. Uh, <laughs> so we just decided to give this a go for at least a couple more videos, uh, but this is our province's... Basically, because of the randomized new world clumps them together, now they're back in their original places and scattered about. So, uh, Arumba, or, uh, Arumba, why don't you give us a rundown of where you're standing right now and, and how you feel about your new position? <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so try, okay, when you're westernizing, you got revolt risk, rebels, events, all kind of, and all this stuff happens yeah. all over the place, and, and I'm, spatter, I'm just spread out everywhere. And I think we were talking about this. Like, didn't didn't you find a province that Portugal had, like, in the center of the United yeah, States somewhere? Portugal has some provinces that border you now, actually. Like, in uh, around where, like, Minnesota would be or Wyoming. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Uh, really and they also, like, it's really funny if you look at it because I guess we can't see it now. But Portugal has, like, a province on the western coast of the United States, which from a colonist standpoint just sounds hilarious. Like, <laughs> how would they even get there? Oh, great. So one of my... Um, one of my rebellions is actually in like the jamaican islands saint bartholomew <laughs> I, I can't even get there i don't i mean <laughs> i wonder what happened to the boats uh, so for me i have land literally just spread across the entire country um yeah. i have troops if you look at the zapotec um right south of them i have seven thousand men in the Com comanche lands that i'm colonizing and i can't move back home because I don't have military access through yeah. Zapotec, and Terra Incognita prevents me. So I just have this colony s somehow just forming <laughs> the south of Zapotec. Madness, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you go to um, go to your diplomatic mode with a Roomba? <laughs> diplomatic and, mode. And then cancel military access? All what? right. Y you don't want military access? What? Y y you don't want him to... Why'd you do that? <laughs> I don't think he has military access through me, to be honest with you. Okay, like like break alliance or whatever you got. I don't going have an on. alliance with him either. Are you turning okay. on me while I'm trying? I'm ready to, to on pause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to do here. I'm just saying no. Nope. Uh, well, what? Well, okay, the game is no longer in sync. It said, but now it's going fine. Well, let's just try play until it crashes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mine isn't in sync either, so. Just because it says it's not in sync doesn't mean it's not really in sync, does I it? I guess technically true. Oh my god, you know what's happening right now? No. What? I am discovering all of my resources that have question marks. Oh, actually, I, I've been getting the same thing. All of them are like, oh, by the way, here's this and this and this and Oh, okay, you have this. Oh, what the fuck? Why couldn't you have done this before? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Northern Lion. Oh, I'm, so we I'm, are in sync. I'm a bit busy here. Yeah, like the game, <laughs> it's saying like like one little number is wrong somewhere. And yeah. like over a long period of time, it will cause the game to crash. <laughs> like we'll probably all crash this, to desktop. Oh, oh my Madness God. accepted the call to war, too. What happened? So good. What happened? You're alone with the Roomba now. <laughs> oh, no, why? Oh, God, dude. I have like nine pop-ups because literally my entire nation is like, well, here, okay. we have, we've discovered everything. I wish a Roomba no ill will. But there are these four provinces down here that I need in order to make my borders feel good. Dude, <laughs> fuck borders. <laughs> fuck my borders. If you say fuck borders one more time, you're you're not going to like it. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Jesus. I I can't I'm wondering if the game was so bugged that it just could not figure out what my resources were. Until you know what the now. bullshit thing is? Arumba's not an AI, so I actually have to convince him to accept a piece. You know He's Ugh. he he didn't honor the call to arms. What are you talking about? Yeah, on my screen, Mathis is he's an ally. <laughs> like okay. his his armies are blue to me. I'm actually not I'm actually not at war with anybody. Uh is that Mathis? That is that's Mathis. What you somehow have managed to stay allied to both of us in spite of this. I'm not at war with a damn person. I, I gave uh, military access to the Cheyenne, whoever they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like the catastrophic failure of U4 here. <laughs> yes, we have broken the game.
<laughs> and this is a good time to point out that if you've been watching the series and you're not necessarily an enormous fan, we have uh, already begun brainstorming what our next series will be, whether it's CK2 or uh, U4, uh, or our Victoria 2 now. Um, yeah. Just so that we can uh, maybe, because we, we've taken the feedback to heart that obviously the series started a little, little bit of a slower pace than the earlier ones, but that's, we were kind of under the impression that Conquest of Paradise would be a little bit more exciting right off the bat. It's, um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We learned the hard way. Yeah, oh well. Um, it's exciting now. Yeah. yeah. I don't know I what's going on. To, to some extent, like, I don't really care how successful the series is because it's really nice to just, like, on Fridays be like, yeah, let's just play some multiplayer. I agree. Paradox I stuff for a few it. hours. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I got to learn EU4 really quickly. Mm -hmm. I, I think I have a pretty good grasp of it now. Like, I think I could play it and be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, probably true. I think it'd be more fun, though, if we play EU4 again to do, like, some of the more classic cult, uh, countries like, you know, England, France, Burgundy, whatever, like, the big hitters. And if we that could be fun if we had like I was gonna say like Mathis, you might even be on the level right now. I don't know how to phrase this without it sounding offensive. But like in within that, like if we did English England, France, Burgundy, a Roomba would basically have to be Burgundy. Yeah. I think at least. And then um like you and I as England and France. Could all just hit the random button and say fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> There's someone playing like Swahili and then somebody is Norway. <laughs> And somebody gets a Native American. <laughs> and they sit around for 200 years waiting for... That's true. Hey, are you sieging my stuff? Stop it. Yeah, I'm sieging your stuff, Aruma. How dare you? Come over here and stop me. Okay. Let's, let's see how well this... Oh, uh, how did you get there? Because I got military access from Mathis. Mathis, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I sued chaos. Why did you do it? Because it's going to be hilarious to see you go, oh, fuck! <laughs> that was your whole plan. You thought that if I didn't have access that you could just... <laughs> take take this four provinces. Yes. Yes. You just yes. Is, okay. Is, you, is there a problem at, with that? <laughs> you're on level five military tech. Yeah, but you you were dealing with a bunch of stuff. You were like, oh, I've got all these things to deal with. If Mathis just hadn't let you in, do I need to go over the Genghis Khan story again? <laughs> Abenaki has rejected right our generous peace offer. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm I don't like the idea of going head to head with a Roomba in a battle. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just like, it's still at awe at this map. Oh, We're look at this. We're fighting the war of Tampa, Florida right now. The Native Americans are getting slaughtered. I'm not a Native American anymore. I'm, I'm Western. <laughs> oh my god. Kill look the, at him. Yeah, this is not going well for me. Infidels. Kill them. Whatever, man. Get to 100% war score. Full annex me. I, I won the battle. No, you didn't. I did. It said I won the battle. You're running away. Dude, on my screen, you are running away. I swear to God. No, you. I just not. want you to know there's nothing happening on my screen. <laughs> on my I, screen, you are fleeing now. Do you still I, have military rights through my lands? Are you serious? <laughs> are you yes, serious? Yes, I'm 100. I'm in Chippewa right now, and you're fleeing like no, the little no, hands I, that you are. I just killed your entire army in Ozark. No, you're crazy, man. Your entire. I don't army, even know where Ozark is. It's where your army just died. <laughs> no, dude, my army's in Chippewa, man. Ozark uh, is being sieged on my screen. Yeah. I, Ozark is being sieged on my screen, too, but my army is still alive, and I won the battle with the Roomba on my screen. I shouldn't have, because my morale went down to zero, but... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Mathis, you should... Here, we're, let's broker a three-person peace deal. Mathis, revoke military access from a Roomba right now. I so already did. Good, so he can't bring his troops back into his own lands. But I don't know if it actually went through or They'll not. They'll be exiled when the war's over. Then I'll just be able to bring him back. That's bullshit. <laughs> you can't. You gotta fix that. <laughs> you can't game the system like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, what is happening? What a what a game. <laughs> what a <laughs> game. Yeah, I I really don't understand why the game just out of the blue decided. You know what? Fuck this random world stuff. <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> let's just re-random, unrandomize. <laughs> yeah, it's got the new unrandomizer game mode. Hey, Brandon, so are you telling me you can't see the 15 regiments that you're just walking your troops into right now? You don't have 15 regiments. <laughs> I have them! I can see them on my screen. Your regiments are all gone. You on have my no... screen, you, oh yeah, on my screen you just sent two men up here and I am just going to poke my spear into them. Yep, I'm watching that fight. It's happening on my screen too. <laughs> <laughs> the Mahikas I'd... are winning the two poker fight. Yep, I have uh, the I've evolved invisibility, so best of luck to you, Aruba. <laughs> it's a pretty huge benefit in uh, any well, war. I would say you may say. have westernized, but aliens landed near us. Exactly, See, we took from... that technology. 
From my perspective, I'm chain sieging. I'm carpet sieging your entire country. What's you fucked are up carpet is that sieging the left side of his country, the right side of the country. You're having losing battles. I you actually not... might win this battle hilariously enough. Oh yeah, you just got reinforced. <laughs> I am not losing any battles. Tell me which you province. You are losing a battle here. I, well, now you're going to win. But <laughs> Which province? Tell me which one. I'll send Chippewa. more men there. Chippewa, yep. yep. Send more men to Chippewa. No, yes. you won that battle, though. You did. And now my regiments are totally gone. Oh, yeah, they just disappeared. Yeah, the, I mean, I think they just got totally wiped out. So huh. Interesting. Oh, oh, you know what we should do? We should do that thing that uh, fucks... Sorry, mess, messes everything up. Okay, so when we're done with this war... Yeah. You need to release a vassal and click play as vassal and see if it makes us all play as that character. <laughs> all right. Remember I mean, how we... We could, we could be done with this war right now if you want to be. <laughs> well, yeah, if you surrender. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, the problem is even even if in a, in a player versus player war, I still have to siege everything to, like, demand something from you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... I can't even... I can't, you even, get my, I, even, I can't even come over there. My men are my, just stuck. You rejected my peace offer? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to annul my treaty with Mathis for you. Oh, yeah. That's nice of you. I have mm. no points to send demands with. <laughs> Remember? Because I'm westernizing. I'm still westernizing during this war. Um, okay, okay. One second. Concede, what the fuck just happened? Concede defeat. Our steward reports. That's my very nice of We you. have managed to... All right. Oh, the, how do you get those troops? They can still be led through. Uh... That's weird. I actually thought those troops would just be unable to move back. All right. I'm okay. going to I'm going to create Fox. No. Yeah. Single province. <laughs> play is released vassal. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Okay. okay. Hello. Whoa. Oh, yep. yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Well, we're all Fox. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> Goodbye, cool. Mac. I enjoyed you. <laughs> It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> so we're all looking at Kespec, Kespec Fox. Uh, don't worry, I picked ourselves a mission. Did you? <laughs> yep, we gave ourselves a mission. Let's get some advisors up in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> teamwork. All right, we're now negative. Um, let's see. And this is what in in inevitably happens when you have a Protestant, at least, though. Oh, we, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, no. What have you done? No. We need money. <laughs> that one gold loan. I love it. You get 0.1% inflation for one gold. Why are we losing two gold per month? That's messed up. Well, I Advisors. hired ourselves an advisor. I hired one for us. That was we, a silly decision. You want a second one? I think we need a second one. Fire them! Fire them! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Why do we have religious <coughs> ideas? What? Hmm? King, our native ideas have evolved and granted us access to counting coups. Yay. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what's, what's happening right now. Minus 23 prestige. All right. Well, obviously we have to go to war with somebody. I'm making, I'm making us an army right now. All right, cool. I'm going to hire a military leader. Oh, we already had one. Oh, no, that's our, our king. Also that's known as our military leader. Catch a Kamu the first eagle. That's <laughs> pretty, pretty good name for We're a general. Protestant, though. That's weird. Yeah. So we um, are... Hmm. Yes. Good point. <laughs> so, the, the, do our other nations just play as themselves now? Yeah, it's all AI, I think. I mean, our, our countries should be played by just the AI. It takes over. Best it's so fun. weird. Yo, we can see the whole old world now. Yeah, because um, I was Western. Oh, okay, okay. I, oh, could, cool. I, I, I could see all that. As soon as you Westernize, you can see all Western uh, Man. Re revealed areas. Independent Galicia... Aragon still exists. Portugal and Castilla. Algiers took over Morocco. The Mamluks barely exist anymore. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Who's rolling here? Sweden took over Norway and probably Denmark soon. Well, the game just crashed on me. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. <laughs> well, Even eventually it always falls apart. <laughs> this, this has been uh, this has been glorious. Yeah, it all came As falling, always. falling apart. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say. I don't know if this is going to be the last episode or, you know, it's, it's been fun. We appreciate your support on the series, even if it did, did go through some uh, ups and downs. And we'll be back uh, ASAP with a brand new series, if not another final episode of this. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.